So a quick video here to talk about index laws and negative bases. So I'm going to jump straight into an example so you can see what I'm talking about. If I've got negative 5 to the power of uh, 3, let's say, that's the same as negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, which is negative 5 times negative 5, a negative times a negative is a positive, so that's 25, times negative 5, that's... Uh, 25 times negative 5, a negative times a positive is a negative. Negative 125. Now, I've got a negative base, that's what the video is about, and I've raised it to a power, and the answer, you can see, is negative. Now, if I try a different one, uh, let's say negative 2 to the power of 6, well, that's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times negative 2. Uh, now I'm going to do this a slightly faster way. Negative 2 times negative 2 is um, positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Okay, so an interesting uh, thing to realise is that here I had a negative base and I got a negative answer. Here I had a negative base and I had a positive answer. Um, now why is that happening? Well here I had an even number of things, even number of negative things multiplied by each other, which meant that this times this was positive, times this times this, which is positive, times this times this, which is positive. If I'd added one more times negative two, that would be raising it to the power of 7, multiplying that by negative 2, which would give me negative 128. All right, so there is a sort of a, a simple rule here to follow, and that is that if we've got negative a to the m, negative something to the power of something, if m is even, then our answer, if m is even, so in this case 6, then our answer will be positive. If m is odd, if we raise it to an odd power, then our answer will be negative. Um, now, learn the rule, but also try to understand it, because if you get stuck and you don't remember the rule, you can just work through it, negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, and figure out will the resulting answer be positive or will it be negative.